All right, I will now show you how um, to create the, the knowledge graph. So this is a, a post that I want to rank for. I have already an idea about the, the query strings that I want to rank for. Anyway, I can also use uh, some uh, suggestions from, from the Google Search Console. So let's see. I will create a new spreadsheet. This is just a, bl a blank new uh, spreadsheet from Google Sheets. And I will open uh, um, the um, WordLift add-on for Google Sheets. And there is this nice wizard here. And the first uh, two steps are some, uh, conf some configuration steps. So I have to, to um, configure it to connect it to uh, my WordLift. So I will just use uh, the same data that I have here. So the WordLift key. Uh, I want to target the United States and English language and the google.com domain. And uh, yeah, I will connect to the Google Search Console so that the add-on can preload some data for me. And uh, I want to use the configuration for wordlift.io just for the sake of this example. I will just get the last 30 days. I don't need the URLs at this stage. Cool. Um, now I, I could review here the query strings, the, uh, but uh, in this case, I want to um, bring my own because I already know that I want to rank for these queries. So I will select, uh, I will just copy and paste them here and I will select them. And then I move to the next step. I want to now get the uh, analysis for the SERP. This may take a while. Cool, so these are the results from, from the SERP analysis. And um, I usually um, apply some filters here, but first I will show you what, what these are. So here we got the, uh, uh, the, 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 the query that we put in the previous screen. Rank is the number, the, the position in SERP where we found the entity. These are the entity IDs and they can come from the local uh, uh, knowledge graph as well, of course, from uh, uh, linked data like dbpedia.org or uh, wikidata.org. We have a confidence score, how confident we are that, that this is the, the right entity on that page, the type of the entity, the label, and the list of same as. So now I'm going to apply some filters to choose the entities that I think are more relevant. So let's uh, uh, filter by a high score. And yeah, it looks really nice. Maybe I can uh, lower a little bit the score. Yeah, cool. So this, these are the ones that I want for sure. I want uh, the Wikipedia. Wikidata, Tim Berners-Lee, search. So we got two search here. So we got search engine technology and search engine technology, of course, is the same. So I can just type one of the two and SEO, sure. Prince Philip, no. Google, and I think this is enough. And now I will import them into my vocabulary. How cool is that? It's importing into WordPress automatically. I don't have to type anything. There we go. Complete. So now I will go back to my WordPress site. I can see that the entities have been successfully imported. And now I can go back here, open the WordLift sidebar, and I can mark them up. That's cool. Now I can update. Now I can open uh, the post 
link, permalink. And I will go on the validator to check the structured data. So you can see this is the article structured data. Please notice that we also assign the permanent URI to any entity created uh, with WordLift. Then this is a requirement to be compliant with the five stars requirement. And there we go. You can see that um, my article is mentioning uh, the, the entities here. There is a, a, a preset description that I can uh, update later on. And they're also the same as linking uh, my entity with DBpedia, the Freebase, that is the, the Google uh, uh, Knowledge Graph, and Wikidata, and so forth. So these are the entities that I connected. Um, yeah, search engine technology, search engine optimization, and uh, Tim Berners-Lee, of course. And, and I want to show you that I can also select here uh, knowledge graph, and this will be uh, uh, COVID from uh, linked data into my vocabulary. And because knowledge graph is in the title of my post, if I reload here, the structured data, I should see this new about property linking the uh, knowledge graph entity. 